Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the 2021 Winnebago Mini Winnie. So this is the 26T floor plan. It's a new floor plan for 2021. You have six floor plans to choose from. The Mini Winnie is a premium gas class C coach in the industry. Winnebago is the only manufacturer that offers smart driver assist in a class C. So that's gonna give you a whole bunch of safety features, uh, lane departure, electronic stability control, active braking, adaptive cruise control, just to name a few. So that's pretty huge that that's a standard option in their Class C. You can get the Mini Winnie with full body paint like you see here behind me. This is the cool mist exterior. You can also choose from the suede. And then there's two other options that are just graphics that you can choose from as well. Uh, this is a great coach. You've got the one piece molded fiberglass roof and it, it just looks nice, looks sleek. You can see that your marker lights, a, across the top of the coach here. The Mini Winnie sits on the Ford E450 chassis, has a 7.3 liter V8 engine with a six speed automatic transmission. So it's amazing. They call this the Godzilla engine. So when I take this out in the test drive, I'll give you a little, uh, try to give you that experience. But basically what it means is that you're gonna get more power, more torque, um, you're gonna love the way this drives. All right, let's, so let me show you what's underneath the hood here. We have our fuse box. We have our coolant, our brake fluid. This is our power steering fluid. This is where we're going to fill the oil, our air filter for the engine. So we've got our oil dipstick down here. And then this is our trans um, fluid check and fill. And we've got our chassis battery, positive and negative and our wash windshield wiper fluid fill. All right, so right here in the center of the front of the coach, you've got your sensor for your adaptive cruise control and your lane departure. And the camera is just in the center uh, top part of the dash there to help with the adaptive cruise control, lane departure, etc. So one of the things that's really interesting about Winnebago is they are absolutely a manufacturer of RVs, not an assembler. They make more than, well, typically I say they make 70 to 75% of the parts that they use in their RV. Well, on the Class Cs, it's even higher than that. So that's super impressive. One of the things that's great about that is if you end up needing a part, you're gonna be able to call Winnebago and get that because they make it. And I will kind of point out different things, why that's significant as I go through this coach. Because Winnebago manufactures its own walls, they have better insulation because they use a thermal panel process. So it's gonna go fiberglass exterior, then the Asdale, then the thermal panel, which provides great insulation in this coach. They don't use any Luon or wood. They use Asdale, which is the same material that, you, uh, that they use in the automotive industry as a barrier between the interior and the exterior. So it has sound deadening qualities, water resistant, it's just great. So because of all that, you're never gonna see that aluminum skeleton, something that we call to it when you're uh, up north and it's a frosty morning and you kind of see that you know, like the bones of a, of a unit, you're never gonna see that on a Winnebago. So we have the beautiful chrome exterior mirrors. They are heated and internally controlled and you've got your side view camera in here. So when you turn on your blinkers, you can be able to see down the full length of your coach. All right, let's check out our first storage compartment here. So this is nice and deep. It's, I can't even reach the back of it. And you're also gonna notice that we've got a steel compartment here. So since, Ma since Winnebago manufactures its coach, you're gonna see more steel and metal on this coach than any other coach in the industry. And all that steel is either galvanized or E-coated to protect it from rust. All right, our next compartment here is for our 18 gallon LP tank. Now this does not have a quick connect for a gas grill, but we can do that for you easily at National Indoor RV Centers. You might get tired of me saying another reason that's great that they manufacture all their own, most of their motorhome themselves, um, but this is another reason that's great that Winnebago makes these doors. So you'll see the doors have a label. If you were to take a corner a little too sharp and damage this door, all you have to do is pull out this label here 
It's everything you need to know so that you can order this door and get a replacement. So we have our two 110 outlets and our cable output, our exhaust for our furnace. So we have our six gallon water heater and then we have the exhaust for the engine. Now this looks like it's gonna open. It will open from kind of underneath the coach, but that's just uh, access for service. And we have our last storage compartment for the passenger side of the coach. It is a pass-through compartment, so it's gonna go all the way over to the driver's side of the coach. There are three floor plans that come standard with the rear airbags to give it a more stable ride. They come standard on the 26T, the 31H, and the 31K. Marker light for the passenger side. And here we have our steel bumper that Winnebago manufactures. And inside this little cap here, we've got space for our stinky slinky or sewer hose on either side of the bumper. All right, so let's talk about this beautiful in cap here. I love the mini Winnie across the back. That's always fun when you're playing the game, what RV it is. I like to have a good hint there. And then we've got our marker lights across the top with our rear view camera. This is probably one of my favorite features. Um, if I'm out RVing, I want to bring the outside in with me as much as I can, and so I love having a big window in my bedroom. So we've got our aluminum ladder here. This will support up to 225 pounds. And then one of the cool things about, you know, Winnebago, again, manufacturing this wall with its laser guides, everything is screwed into a steel plate. So another manufacturer may try to do that, but without the laser guides, they may miss that just a little bit and it could be screwed into the fiberglass. Winnebago, you don't need to worry about that. If it's screwed into the wall, there, there's a steel plate behind it. Very few um, Class C manufacturers will have a 7,500 tow hitch. That's what we've got here on the Mini Winnie, so you're gonna be able to easily tow your Jeep Wrangler or your toys, whatever you want. That's not gonna be a problem. And you've got a seven-way connection for your lights right next to it. All right, so we've got our marker light for the driver's side, and then we have our pass-through compartment to the passenger side, nice and deep. And then we have a big storage compartment here. And it also has a slide-out room controller for this side of the coach. And here is our hydraulic leveling system for our jacks. Here we have our black tank drain and our gray tank drain. The black tank is 35 on this coach. The gray tank is 41 and our freshwater tank is 44. Now that's floor plan specific. So that leads to Winnebago makes its own hold, holding tanks. So on the 26T, they may be able to have a bit, little bit bigger freshwater tank because it fits. So they can make it to fit a specific floor plan. Whereas other manufacturers buy their tanks from uh, someone else and they come in a certain size and they have to make it work. Winnebago can make it work for each individual floor plan. All right, here is our tank fill and our city fill and our cable in and our fuel fill for our 55 gallon gas fuel tank and you can just use regular unleaded gas for that. And this is our black tank flush. Now, um, check out my factory video because I actually got to see like the nozzle because I know what people think when they think black tank flush. You've got some spinner going around there pushing everything through. It's just a little nozzle and it kind of creates pressure and will spray the tank and it just kind of helps push things through. It's much simpler device than I thought it would be. All right, so if you look up above and then right here you have the vent for your two-way refrigerator. So that's run off of either LP or 110. Then we've got our storage compartment here, which holds our 30 amp shore power cord. Now there's no auto transfer switch in here, so you're either gonna be always plugged into the park for 30 amp, or you plug into your coach here so that you can run off of your generator. Also inside this compartment is a slide out room controller for your big slide. There's an access port, so you can thread your 30 amp cord through that and still shut your door. One more storage compartment for the driver's side of the coach. And then we have our 4,000 watt Onan generator and the exhaust for our generator. I also wanna point out that you have slide toppers for both of your slide rooms. And we've got a window for our over the cap bunk. 
All right, before we go in, I wanna make sure that we talk about our carefree awnings. Now the control for them are just inside your door. So you can just hit the out button. You can see how far the awning extends, so it's gonna give you a lot of shade. It also has the LED lights, which are directional. So you can turn those on, and then they're pointing at the coach right now, but if I wanted to put them down towards the ground, I would just take it out a little bit further. So you can just move your awning in and out to determine where you want those lights to shine. You can also adjust the pitch of your awning. So if you've got a bad rainstorm, you wanna keep the water from puddling up here by your front entry, by the front entry of your cab, you go ahead and lower the right side of the awning and raise the left side and you'll direct all that water over to the far side of your coach. This is how you're gonna adjust it. You're just gonna push those buttons in here and pull them back. All right, so you can see I've raised this side, I've lowered that side, and you can see how the water is gonna easily run off that side of the awning now. All right, so as it goes in, you'll see that I have a black shiny fabric at the top of the awning. Not only does that kind of blend in with the roof line, but it also protects it, gives uh, water resistant to protect your awning. All right, so right inside the front step here, we have the two group 24 batteries. So you'll see a lot of manufacturers that surround their batteries, encase this with wood. This is all steel, so it's just quality built in throughout this coach. All right, so right inside the door are our HWH, or hydraulic leveling jacks. So you wanna put your slides out and then your jacks down. So our slides are out. I'm gonna go ahead and put auto level. And you need to have your ignition on and your park brake set. All right, so now all four corners are lit and solid red dots, so we're level. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my ignition and we're good to go, we're all level. Okay, so right inside the door, we also have our breaker box and fuse panel and everything's nicely labeled there for us. We have our battery, uh, coach battery disconnect. So that's really nice as you're entering or exiting the coach, you can turn those on or off as needed. And then we've got our awning uh, light and our awning in and out, our hydraulic leveling system. We have our ceiling light, which kind of lights up the stairwell as well. So again, that's just a safety measure. And then our patio light. So we have this great grab bar that we can hold on to as we're going in or out of the coach. Then right inside the front door, look at this huge storage cabinet. I love it. We've got the adjustable shelves. We've got little hooks in here if we wanna hang keys or a jacket if we take out one of these shelves. So it's really nice that you can customize that to, to work however you need it. And then check out the storage that we have right above the doorway. And another thing that I love that Winnebago does is they make these little W's that you'll see throughout, sometimes on their running boards, but this is a key holder, jacket holder. You'll see it other places in the coach, but I just think I love how they put their brand into everything that they make. Finally, to my favorite part, the interior of the coach. So you'll see how gorgeous this uh, 26 T is. This is the linen interior with the driftwood um, wood just big dinette here we have the optional theater seating so you can get the theater optional theater seating in the 26t the 31h and the 31k otherwise you would have a sofa here standard all right so let's talk about how much space and how many people you can get in here well, obviously you can get four people comfortably at your dinette two people in your sofa here we've got sleeping up here for two adults or a couple kids, a few kids, this will support up to 600 pounds. So that's like three large adults, um, lots of kiddos, probably more than you wanna take with you. <laughs> and then you've got the ladder here that just easily hooks in. So you have a nice ladder here. You can see this is a nice big bed. And a lot of people ask me how much space there is from ceiling to cushion. So I always have my handy dandy tape measure here. So about 26 inches ceiling to cushion and then the cushion is about four inches thick. And again, the cushions are all made by Winnebago. Really nice foam, so they're very comfortable, very supportive. Now in this bed area, we have the MCD blackout shades, an opening window. We've got our push button light 
We've got our fan that you can just open up here manually, and we have our ducted air vent. That's huge. And we have our 32 inch TV. We've got a little release strap here so that we can pull that out so that you can direct that. And then you'll see that it um, does come out and it is hard to move, but that's on purpose. They make a really strong support bracket back there because Winnebago makes this, it's gonna be sturdy. It's not gonna come off the wall and um, they just do, they just make really high quality products. And then once you're done, you can just it, push it back and snap it into place. All right, we have our Sony DVD player, and then let's check out our storage above. Look how huge that cabinet is. And there's no divider in here. That is a huge storage. You can put a coffee maker up there, Instapot, lots of stuff, games, you name it. And then we've got our push button lights right below the cabinet. All right, so let's check out this nice U-shaped dinette. So I just want you to see how roomy this is. See that I've got lots of space between the back of the cushion and the front of the table. And I can scoot all the way around, still have a nice amount of space there. So this is just great because you can easily get four people, probably more if you wanted to at this dinette. This also makes into a bed, so let me show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move the tabletop first just to make it easy so I can get back here. There is a lever that you just turn to loosen so that you can just take the table right off. Table leg comes out nice and easy too. Just twists out. Okay, so now I can show you all the storage and everything underneath here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move out this cushion. So you can see that we've got the seat belt there. and storage below. Again, so much storage in this coach. So much storage. And we're not done because we have another seat belt. More storage. I bet you can guess what's below here. More storage, another seat belt. So wow, three seat belts, tons of storage. Now we're gonna make it into a bed. So now we're just gonna take our tabletop back here, that's gonna become the remaining base of the bed. Oh, before I do that, I wanna show you that you do have the 12 volt and USB charging ports and two 110 outlets. All right, so now we have the base for our bed. I'm gonna go back and do my puzzle. <laughs> Put all my cushions back in. One more cushion here. And I've got two little baby cushions to help complete that bed. And again, I wanna point out that for some reason, you lose one of these or it gets damaged. Here is what you need to call Winnebago and order another part. Bonus of them manufacturing their own cushions and upholstery, and they do such a nice job, it's so comfy. So we're just gonna slide those in. There you go. So you've got sleeping for two adults up top or a few kids, a couple kiddos down here, and then two adults in the back of the coach. So really you can comfortably, let's just call it two, four, six. This coach will comfortably sleep six, maybe a couple more if it's little kids. So I just mentioned that this will comfortably sleep six people. Well, we've got seven seat belts. So we have one, two, three in the dinette, We've got seatbelt in the theater seating or in the sofa, so two more, we're up to five, plus our captain and co-captain, that's seven seatbelts, plus the forward-facing seatbelt in the booth has a child safety tether and it is pull tested. So Winnebago is all about the privacy. So we've got the little privacy drape here. So you know those kiddos are driving us crazy. Just shut the curtain and they're gone. The other thing I like about this is say that you don't have any kids. You're not, you don't have the grandkids or you don't have your kids with you. You want to use this as extra storage. You can put bins up there and then you can shut this and you don't have to see it. Just kind of closes it off nicely. Then they've also given us a privacy drape for the front cab area. So we just took this. There's little Velcro tabs along the whole um, cab area. And I just push them in right here and you create your own little privacy drape 
and it's really simple to put up. A little bit more about the quality of Winnebago. So they use aluminum interlocking joints um, in their frame. So you're not gonna have sagging of your walls. Another thing that helps contribute to uh, the quality is that anytime you have a cabinet hung, you're gonna have that connected to a steel plate. So the steel plate into the aluminum frame is gonna give you nice, secure, square, strong walls. You also have the MCD blackout shades in your living room and bedroom. All right, we have nice storage above the theater seats here. We've got the push button lights right below. And then we've got a nice big window. You know that I love windows. I like to bring the inside, the outside in. So you just do that and pull that open with the nice screen here. And then to our theater seating, you guys, I'm never gonna leave. This is so comfortable. It's been a long day. So you just pull the lever here and the seat comes out it's super comfy and you can kind of recline that more. Then you've got your cup holders here and right behind you've got two USB charging ports. And I think I'm just gonna sit back and take a nap. Really, really comfortable furniture. All right, now to the kitchen. So first of all, we have the two-way refrigerator freezer and this is gonna run off of LP or 110. And it locks when you shut it too so you don't have to worry about doing a travel lock and then a really nice size freezer you can be able to get your bluebell ice cream in there that's all we care about <laughs> and then check out our pantries so we've got full extension pullouts here and three more below so look you're gonna be able to get to the stuff that's in the very back so those cans that are back here aren't gonna you know <laughs> be outdated by the time you get to them because you can actually see them. So that's really nice. And then we've got this great kitchen area here. So we have our microwave oven and we have our three burner cooktop stove, gas cooktop and oven. So chocolate chip cookies are on your way to you, on their way to you. <laughs> that's one thing I make really well. Nice storage below. Another big cabinet, and you could get a trash, uh, a smaller trash can in there, but it's nice that you could actually put one away and have one in your kitchen. I love that. Two 110 outlets. And then we've got, look at those full extension drawers. And one more. And then what, probably one of the best features of all of this coach is we've got the Corian countertops and they've even backed it with 5 8 inch wood. And you can see that right here. So just like you would in a residential kitchen, that's how they would do it. We built the same quality in at Winnebago on these coaches. And look how beautiful that countertop is. Pattern even matches. And then we have our huge stainless steel bowl sink. Look at that beautiful residential faucet. And he even has the retractable hose here. And then we've got our lights that are right underneath the cabinet. So this area is illuminated really well. And we're not done. Look how big that storage compartment is. And we've got the fan for the kitchen area here. All right, to take down the extra countertop, you just push in this little button here on either side, on both sides, and folds nicely down. Then we've got our propane alarm here and more storage and another pull-out drawer. Look at that. Man, there is a lot of storage in this coach. You know, not as much as my kitchen, but it's getting close. All right, so here we have kind of the control panel for the inside of the coach. So we have our slide room controls. Remember on a Winnebago, you must have your park brake set and your ignition on for the slide rooms to work. So our driver's front slide out, out and in, and our driver's uh, rear out and in. Then we can turn on our generator from here and stop it. It'll also shows our generator hours. Our water heater, we can turn on right here and our water pump and then we can go through our tank levels. So our LP tank is a third full, our battery is two thirds of the way charged, our fresh tank is empty, black tank is empty, 
and our gray tank is empty. And then we have our inverter control. So if you wanna run your TVs or any of your outlets, you need to make sure you have your inverter on. Um, otherwise you can turn that off if you'd like. And then we have our holding tank heater here. So if you're up north, it's getting a little chilly outside, you'll wanna turn that on to keep your um, tanks warm. Then we have our ceiling light. And now look at all the storage we have. So this is kind of going back into the bedroom. We have a wardrobe bar there and full extension drawer. Look how lengthy and deep that drawer is. And then as I step into the bedroom, this door gives us access into the same closet. So you can get to it from either side, which is really nice. So you can reach everything. You don't have to go around the corner and another full extension drawer. And then right here, we've got our control for our AC unit and our heat pump and our light switch for the bedroom. So we have our 15,000 BTU AC unit with heat pump and it's ducted air, so that's really nice. And then we have our light switch for the bedroom and we have our privacy door. So all you have to do to shut yourself away from the rest of the uh, noise and chaos of your <laughs> family and loved ones is just unhook the snap here and complete privacy. Really nice, and then you just snap that in when you're not using it. So come on in, let me show you the bedroom. All right, you're gonna love the size of this bedroom. We've got the queen bed with the uh, padded headrest here. We've got the push button lights on both sides, reading lights. We've got windows on both sides so we can have that cool air. We have nice breeze that can come through if we'd like. And then really nice amount of storage above the um, bed here. And it's no, there's no divider. So again, you can get a lot in there. Typically I see people put um, items in big plastic containers so you can just pull them out and then you can put them on the bed. Easy to get your items in and out of. Then we've got a little nightstand on both sides and then notice what else we have. We have space, ladies and gentlemen who are really smart and make the bed. <laughs> we love someone that makes the bed for us. Um, you've got space in here where you can actually make your bed, put your sheets on and you're not gonna hurt your fingers and grab your rings. Um, then right here on our nightstand, we've got two USB ports and two 110 outlets. Right behind me, we've got our big window. I'd mentioned this when I was at the rear of the coach. I love this, because again, I'm camping. I want to kind of be one with nature. I can see it outside my window. And this is your emergency exit window as well. Then we've got our 24 inch TV here at the corner. We've got our carbon monoxide alarm here. And we've got our fan here. And as you come around to the other side of the bed, again, we have that storage cabinet above the, the bed, light underneath the cabinet, nightstand. We've got our 12 volt receptacle, two USB receptacles, and then two 110 outlets. So I know a lot of my customers have the CPAP machines. You've got a little nightstand, you can set that on and you can plug it in right there. It's really nice. Then when you go to put your slides in, you're gonna have to just lift the end of this up and then your slide room can come in. So again, very easy. Now let's go in and check out the bathroom. You're gonna love this because it feels really roomy in here. First of all, it has a really cool door so you can give yourself some privacy again, which is nice when you're traveling with everyone, but it slides shut. And then when you get to the corner, it's going to swing shut and it's gonna magnet right here. So it gives you a nice, you feel like you actually have a good amount of privacy and it feels really big and roomy in here. It doesn't feel tight. And then I've got my light for the bathroom right here. Big medicine cabinet, which I love. And our two 110 outlets. We've got our sink, residential faucets, more storage below. Look how much storage we have. So we can have a garbage can in there. Note that I always like to have those put away if we can. Our pedal controlled toilet here, towel bar, Again, don't you love it? Aren't they cute, the little W? More storage here. And then I'm just going to, we've got the really cool retractable shower door here. 
So that's self-cleaning, mold and mildew resistant, kind of um, cleans it off as it goes in. So you really need to clean it like um, every month or two. And then pretty roomy shower. We've got the skylight above, so that gives us some extra headroom here. We've got the um, shower head, and you can stick that right there, hot and cold. Little place for your soaps and your shampoos. Anyway, really nice. Doesn't feel cramped and crowded at all in here. And then we've got our nice vent here as well. All right, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I always like to show the coaches with the slides in. So you can see that you can easily, no problem at all, getting back to your bathroom, into your kitchen, fully open your refrigerator, your pantry. You can sit down and relax at your theater chairs here and go all the way up to the front cap. I'm so excited to show you all the new features in the new Ford Dash. I can't wait. But before that, that let's talk about this seat. Just works super easy. You just move that lever to move your back uh, rest up and back. And then you've got the center pole here to move your seat forward and backwards. On the door here, we've got nice storage compartments, window controls and lock and unlock. We have the controls for our external mirrors and the defrost for our external mirrors. Right inside the door, we have our hood release and we have our park brake. So we have our light controls here. This is gonna be for our dash light. We can dim it here or we can take it to bright. I like it bright. And then we've got our lights, they're off right now. Our daytime running lights, our headlights, or we can go to our auto lights so that our lights will automatically come on when needed. And we have intelligent high beam here as well. All right, so up to the steering column itself, we have a control here so that we can lower or raise the steering column so that you have the best view. And then our first uh, lever here is for our windshield wiper. So if we push it in, that's how we get our windshield wiper fluid. And then we can set the speed of our windshield wiper. And then if we push away, we can turn on our high beams. So if we need to flash those high beams, we can do that right there. And then we've got our left and right turn signals. And when I put those turn signals on, you can see down the full length of the side of the coach, which is really nice for a class C. So check out how beautiful this new dash is. Look at all that digital readout here. So easy to see. Uh, I'm in love. And then we've got the big display over here that we'll get to, but I'm super excited about this. And then this is steering column itself. It feels totally different. Just so much um, hardier and just, it feels really nice. So you just gotta come and sit in the driver's seat to experience this. I love it. So we've got a lot of information here on our dash and we can scroll through that really easily. So we just go top, we can go to the very top, my view, we can go to trip one and get all the information for our trip. How great is that? Fuel economy, love that. And you can configure your screen so you can kind of customize your screen. And then your trip, you can go through trip one, trip two, and your fuel history. Then we can go to truck information. So this will give us our gauge view. So you can look at, you can pick what you want to see there. Our digital speedometer. Engine information. Maintenance monitor. So how cool is this? We have our oil life information here and our tire pressure monitor. So you can see the tire pressure of all the tires on your coach. That's really great for class C, this comes standard. And then we've got our transmission temperature. Then we can go up to our settings. So there's a lot of safety features built in to the chassis. So we have, we want to have our pre-collision. We want to have that on. We want to have our alert sensitivity and you can say high, normal, or low. Our distance indication, so definitely want that on. Active braking, I definitely want that on. Pre-collision warning system, definitely want that on. 
So a lot of safety features here. Cruise control, adaptive cruise control. So again, this has adaptive cruise control. How nice is that? And gauge selection back to voltmeter or transmission temperature and advanced settings. So this will go to um, your lighting, locks, wiper controls, etc. And display setup. This is where you can customize what you see on your display. So that is really cool and it's all right here at the touch of your fingers and it's just really easy. You don't have to leave the steering column to work any of that. Then we have our cruise control here so we can turn it on and off. We can set it. We can resume and cancel. And this is our following distance. So we can increase that or de decrease that for our adaptive cruise while we're driving. Then if we come over to this side, we've got volume controls for our radio, mute, and then we can search easily right here on our radio. So all again from the steering column. So we can connect our phone through Bluetooth so we can have voice commands, mute, pick up a call, hang up a call. All right, then we have the control for our transmission so we can go to park, reverse, neutral, and drive. We can also go into manual mode and then we can shift up or down from here. And we have tow haul mode. So this, if you are towing something and you don't want to shift as often, you can go into tow haul mode. If you get into the coach and start your coach and you have a loud beeping sound and this red light comes on, that's just an alert to let you know that your jacks are still down. So you need to bring those up before you decide to leave. We have our battery boost button and you can turn that on or off. So say you leave your coach um, unplugged, you've gone too long, come back and your batteries are dead. You want to go ahead and hit that battery boost button to tie your house and your chassis batteries together to give you enough uh, power to start your coach. Now if it doesn't start right away, you can hold that again, try to start your generator, let that run for a little while, and then try to start your engine. So that's a very important button. And then let's look at this cool screen. Look how great this is. So we went from an almost seven inch screen to now a nine inch screen really easy to see. We can go to our home button here. This is a anti-glare um, display. We can go to our radio, uh, XM radio, it's ready for that. Our Bluetooth, our phone, USB, and we can scroll through these with our fingertips, our rear camera. That would be a lot more interesting when we're out on our test drive. <laughs> go back to our home and our settings so we can, you know, set kind of personalize the screen for us. Go into options here, radio XM, home. This is our volume control, our mute, and then we can search our stations and our voice commands. Now another cool thing that we can do here is Apple CarPlay. So I've got my phone already here. Now right below the display we have a quick charge. So you have your USB-C or just a regular USB, and that's just for charging, quick charging of your phone. But if you wanna do Apple CarPlay, you put it, your charger in right there. Okay, for Apple CarPlay, so we're going to allow that. And now I can throw up my Google Maps, I can go to my music, make a phone call, Bluetooth my phone in. That's really nice, so you have it for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, so then we have the rest of controls here at the dash. Obviously our fan, so low to high, cool to warm, and then we can direct that airflow here. Our hazards. And this is our active uh, lane assist. If we don't want that on while we're driving, we can press that button here and turn that lane keeping system off. Again, we have our USB-C and our USB outlet here, our traction control button. 12 volt receptacle, USB port for our Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. We can turn our passenger airbags off or on. We're gonna keep those on most of the time, I would think. And then we've got this dash area here where we've got storage. We've got one, two, three drink holders, which is really nice and more storage below. And we have a little spot for stuff on top of the dash if we want here. And then we've got our glove compartment as well.
So I'm super excited to take the Mini Winnie out for a test drive. Again, remember this is the new Ford V8 engine, 350 horsepower and 468 torque. So let's go get this bad boy a try. When I turn on my blinker, you're gonna be able to see down the full right side of my coach. All right, so let's hit the road. All right, it has really nice pickup from the very get-go. So you put your foot on the gas pedal and you're moving. You're gonna love your external mirrors. They're really what you know keep you safe when you're driving. You're gonna check those all the time. You can see the rear of the coach. So if I'm turning left, I'm gonna look in that left mirror and watch my rear end and same with the right side. If you've never driven a Class C coach before, you really don't have anything to worry about. They're very easy to drive. Just feels like you're, you know, driving a, a bigger truck, but they're very comfortable. Seats are nice and comfy. This new Ford cab is very nice. Love the dash, the digital dash, really easy to see. Everything at your fingertips is nice. And remember, they've built so many security um, safety features into this chassis. So we have the lane assist or the lane departure system. So I'm just going to, once there's no cars coming towards me, I'm going to kind of cross over my lane and see what happens. We'll test that out. We have the adaptive cruise control, um, the active emergency braking, the post collision braking. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to cross out of my lane, not put on my blinker. I'm getting an audible alarm, letting me know that I've gone out of my lane. It also has um, driver assist. So it's going to kind of monitor my driving behavior from when I first took over. Uh, if it starts to notice me veering from my lane, it's gonna give me a, another alert. So the great thing about RVing is that your trip starts as soon as you get in the driver's seat. So it's really the getting there is as much fun as being there. Uh, to really enjoy it, I like to use my cruise control and then we've got the adaptive cruise on top of that with this coach. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and get up to speed and go up to 55 miles an hour on this road that I'm on. And then I'm going to set it. Now I can just sit back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful countryside that we have to view here. So I can increase and decrease my following distance right here when I'm on cruise control, just with the click of a button. All right, so if you've watched my videos before, you know what's coming next, right? It's the decibel reader. So we've got our Class C front engine, Ford, and the decibel reader is 70.1. So I still think that's really quiet. I don't have to yell to talk to my co-captain here. And you can really feel the power as I'm going down the road. I, I love this, very comfortable. I'm not gonna have a problem driving all day if I want to. Um, and many winning. Thank you so much for joining me today on my tour of the 2021 Winnebago Mini Winnie 26T. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this lovely coach would cost you. Well, MSRP is $141,619, and MAP pricing, which is minimum advertised price, is $106,214. So if you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, please give me a call at 469-277-1330 or email me at angie at nirvc.com or go to our website, nirvc.com. We have lots of coaches on order. We would love to talk to you about any of them. Now at NIRVC, we try to make it super easy to do business with us. We take in trades, we do consignments, we do financing. Typically, most of my customers will finance a unit like this for 20 years and usually banks require at least 10% down, maybe more sometimes. We offer extended service plans. Again, it should be pleasant and fun. This is an exciting time if you're looking at an RV. Also remember that with our volume and economies of scales, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, you've gotta go check out my Winnebago factory tour video, so check that. Also, I have a great series 
from a trip from start to finish, my RVing 101 series, and then check out our AIM Club, our all-inclusive motorhome club. We'd love to have you be part of it. We do great rallies. I attend all of the rallies, and I'd love to meet you. Thank you so much for watching today, and have a wonderful day.